Notes are written on this, a music staff. When you're learning to play the guitar, this is the staff you'll be using, the one with the treble clef. Every line on the staff has a certain letter name associated with it. The first line is E, the second is G, the third is B, the fourth is D, and the fifth is F. We're going to call these line notes. Similarly, every space on the staff has a letter name associated with it too. The first space is F, the second is A, the third is C, and the fourth is E. We're going to call these space notes. See how the letters spell out the word face? Don't forget that. It's a great way to memorize the space notes. On the other hand, line notes don't spell out an actual word, so you'll have to come up with a way to memorize your line notes. A great way to do this is to use the letter of every line as the first letter of a word in a sentence. For example, every good boy deserves fudge. Or, every grandma bakes delicious fudge. If you can, come up with a sentence that works for you. There are also notes that can lie above or below the staff. We notate these using ledger lines. Ledger lines basically extend the staff so you can notate these higher or lower pitches. Ledger line notes are a bit tougher to memorize, but just follow the alphabet as you move your way down or up. This is how the notes on the music staff are played on the guitar.